Welcome to channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. This reliance, however, comes with inherent risks, as cybercriminals constantly seek new ways to exploit vulnerabilities and compromise our privacy. These malicious actors are always on the lookout for opportunities to intercept our data and use it for their gain. One such threat, the man in the middle or MITM attack, poses a significant danger to unsuspecting users, particularly those using popular messaging platforms like WhatsApp. These attacks can occur without any visible signs, making them especially dangerous. MITM attacks are insidious by nature, often operating undetected while eavesdropping on conversations and stealing sensitive information. The attacker positions themselves between the communicating parties, intercepting and potentially altering the communication without either party knowing. This essay will delve into the mechanics of MITM attacks, focusing on how hackers target WhatsApp users. We'll break down the steps involved in these attacks and highlight the vulnerabilities that are often exploited. We'll explore the methods employed by these malicious actors, examine real-world examples and provide practical steps you can take to protect yourself from becoming a victim. By understanding the tactics used, you can recognize the signs of an attack and take action to safeguard your information. Imagine this. You're sending a private message to a friend, completely unaware that a third party is secretly intercepting and reading every word. This scenario is more common than you might think, especially in today's digital age where we rely heavily on electronic communication. This, in essence, is the danger of a man-in-the-middle attack, often abbreviated as MITM. These attacks can happen anywhere, from public Wi-Fi networks to compromised home routers. It's like having an eavesdropper on your phone call, except it's happening in the digital realm, often without any noticeable signs. The attacker can be silently monitoring your activities, making it difficult to detect. In technical terms, an MITM attack occurs when a hacker inserts themselves into the communication channel between two parties. This can be done through various methods, such as ARP spoofing, DNS spoofing, or even through compromised devices. Think of it as a digital interception. The hacker can capture and analyze the data being transmitted, gaining access to sensitive information. The attacker can passively observe the exchange of information, stealing sensitive data like login credentials, credit card numbers, or personal messages. This stolen data can then be used for identity theft, financial fraud, or other malicious activities. What's even more concerning is that attackers can also actively manipulate the communication, altering messages or injecting false information without either party realizing it. This can lead to misinformation, financial loss, or even damage to personal relationships. The danger of MITM attacks lies in their stealth. Attackers can blend into the background, making it nearly impossible for the average user to detect their presence. Since the communication appears normal to the unsuspecting users, they may unknowingly continue sharing sensitive information with the attacker, believing they are interacting with the intended recipient. This false sense of security can lead to significant data breaches. This makes MITM attacks a potent tool for cybercriminals seeking to steal data, spread malware, or disrupt communication channels. Understanding how these attacks work is the first step in protecting yourself from becoming a victim. WhatsApp, with its billions of users worldwide, has become a prime target for hackers seeking to execute MITM attacks. These attacks, known as man-in-the-middle attacks, are particularly insidious because they allow hackers to intercept and alter communications between two parties without either party knowing. Despite the platform's end-to-end -end encryption, which is designed to secure communications from prying eyes, vulnerabilities and clever tactics still allow attackers to bypass these safeguards and intercept conversations. This means that even the most secure systems can be compromised if the attackers are skilled and determined enough. One common method is through exploiting software vulnerabilities. These vulnerabilities can be tiny flaws in the code that, when discovered, can be used to gain unauthorized access to the system. Like any software, WhatsApp is not immune to coding flaws or security loopholes. These flaws can be introduced during the development process and may go unnoticed until they are exploited by hackers. Hackers constantly search for these vulnerabilities and when found they can exploit them to gain unauthorized access to devices or intercept communication channels. This relentless search for weaknesses is a key part of the hacker's strategy. 
For instance, a vulnerability discovered in 2024 allowed certain file types to automatically execute on WhatsApp for Windows if Python was installed, potentially enabling MITM attacks. This specific vulnerability highlighted the importance of keeping software up to date and being aware of the potential risks. Another tactic involves social engineering, where hackers manipulate users into compromising their own security. This can be done through various means, such as pretending to be a trusted contact or creating a sense of urgency. They might impersonate trusted contacts, requesting sensitive information like verification codes or tricking users into installing malicious software. This method relies heavily on the user's trust and can be very effective. Phishing attacks, a form of social engineering, often involve sending malicious links or attachments via WhatsApp, enticing users to click and unknowingly download malware that grants attackers access to their devices. These attacks can be highly sophisticated and difficult to detect, making them a significant threat to users' security. Software vulnerabilities are the Achilles heel of any digital platform, and WhatsApp is no exception. These vulnerabilities, often arising from coding errors or design flaws, can create exploitable loopholes that hackers can leverage to bypass security measures and gain unauthorized access. One notable example is the WhatsApp for Windows security flaw discovered in 2024. This vulnerability allowed certain file types to automatically execute on a user's computer simply by opening them within WhatsApp, provided Python was installed. This flaw could potentially enable attackers to deliver and execute malicious code remotely, effectively taking control of a victim's device and intercepting their WhatsApp communications. Another vulnerability discovered in 2021 affected WhatsApp for Android and was dubbed the man in the disk attack. This exploit targeted the way WhatsApp interacted with external storage, allowing attackers to manipulate data exchange between the app and the device's storage. By exploiting this flaw, hackers could steal sensitive information such as encryption keys used to secure WhatsApp conversations, effectively enabling them to decrypt and read private messages. Another tactic involves social engineering, where hackers manipulate users into compromising their own security. They might impersonate trusted contacts, requesting sensitive information like verification codes or tricking users into installing malicious software. Phishing attacks, a form of social engineering, often involve sending malicious links or attachments via WhatsApp, enticing users to click and unknowingly download malware that grants attackers access to their devices. Public Wi-Fi networks, while convenient, can be a hotbed for cyber criminals. These networks often lack proper security measures, making it easy for attackers to intercept data transmitted over them. Users might unknowingly connect to a malicious hotspot, giving hackers a direct line to their personal information. Always be cautious and use a virtual private network or VPN to secure your connection. Protecting yourself from cyber threats involves a few practical steps. First, always keep your software and applications up to date. These updates often contain patches for security vulnerabilities. Second, use strong, unique passwords for different accounts and consider a password manager to keep track of them. Additionally, enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. This extra layer of security can make a significant difference. Finally, be skeptical of unsolicited messages and emails, especially those that ask for personal information or prompt you to click on links or download attachments. Staying ahead of cyber threats requires ongoing vigilance and education. Cybersecurity is not a one-time effort, but a continuous process. Keep informed about the latest threats and trends in cybersecurity. Participate in training programs and stay updated with security news. By fostering a culture of awareness and proactive defense, we can better protect ourselves and our digital lives from the ever-evolving landscape of cyber threats.